Eye on the Desert, presented by El Paseo Jewelers and the McCallum Theater. Now, from the desert's news leader, this is Eye on the Desert from News Channel 3. Welcome to the Valley's premier arts and entertainment program, Eye on the Desert. Our friends over at Script to Stage to Screen are bringing their very first murder mystery. We sat down with the cast. It's a full house on Eye on the Desert today. Kai Brothers, a lot of faith, and Brent Anderson are here to talk about a, uh, an exciting new production from script to stage to screen. And it's the very first murder mystery yes, that yes, this organization's put on, and that surprised me. I've had you guys on for years, and so you finally got around to doing a murder mystery. We're so excited about it. And when um, Hal O'Connell talked to me about uh, with the committee selecting these different plays and this was in consideration. I thought it was such a great idea because it's something different. I like thinking out of the box a bit. And you're the director, Brent. I am. So uh, this is a, uh, kind of a classic whodunit, right? It is. Just if you like Agatha Christie, uh, you're going to love this. Only it's got a little bit more humor than Agatha's plays do. Okay. So, so a little, little lighter, a little more fun. Uh, and Kai and Alana, uh, tell me a little bit about the characters you play and how you got involved in this in the first place. Sure. Um, actually, a friend of mine dragged me to an audition, and uh, next thing you know, I'm in a show. And that's my first time working with this organization, and um, the great thing about it is it's an ensemble piece, and so we all have great parts, and it's a lot of fun. And I, unfortunately, play a very <laughs> over-the-top, bullyish type of actor-turned-director who doesn't have very many fans. Yeah, it's just a little bit of an ego. <laughs> just, Tiny. just a little, little bit. bit. Teeny. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's unheard of in that business, but. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alana, what about you? How did you get involved with the script to stage yeah, screen? Yeah, um, well, actually, I got um, a Facebook message uh, from Brent um, asking about auditioning, and this is my first time ever working um, with stage to script to screen. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's the first time I've, I've ever done a reading, so it's a very different experience than I would say, you know, a regular play where you have a longer rehearsal and you have to memorize and all of that. Um, but yeah, so I'm playing Emma Taylor. She is a playwright, and this play it takes place in Maine at a um, playwrights festival. Um, so my play is going to be being, it's going to be put on, it's a murder mystery. So it's kind of very a meta. A play within a play. A play within a play. Like um, yeah. And one of the things about the productions that you guys do, uh, it's a fully staged production. You just happen to be doing a reading, so you have the script in hand. And I know other actors uh, who've been on and performers uh, with your organization say by the end of the run, you've kind of memorized it anyway. But it does make it a little easier because it does shorten the rehearsal time. But it's still a fully staged production. You guys have to hit all your marks and all that good stuff. Absolutely. All the blocking is fleshed out, all of the set dressing, uh, the costuming, all the sound cues, all the music. So it is... It's I think the audience kind of forgets that they're even holding a script after the first few minutes because it's so interactive and yeah, you're not going to a table read. That's, no, this is a production. <laughs> uh, and one of the nice things about this is you frequently bring newer plays and productions, and this is one that's not been produced here in the desert before. Absolutely. Last year, Script to Stage to Screen got over 80 submissions with plays from around the world, the UK, Australia, the US, and they selected eight, and this is one of the eight they selected. All right, and I, I believe that masks are still required at the performances? They are, also proof of vaccination or a booster shot within the last 12 months. They're pretty strict about that. Yeah, they're pretty strict about that. So just know that when you're going, and it's located at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Rancho Mirage. You can go to script to stage to screen com for show times. You can get your tickets right there, uh, but just make sure you grab your mask and have your proof of vax. Friday the 24th, Saturday the 25th, a cozy murder is taking place in Rancho Mirage at Script Stage to Screen. Thank you all three for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time to put up your dukes and get ready for an exciting night of Golden Boy Boxing, Fantasy Springs Resort.